Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode! In today's episode we're talking about 2K prep because not only is it one of the most asked about things on the channel but I've also got a 2K coming up very very soon so I thought on the day before the 2K that's for me today, I'd go over what I usually go about doing. So, as you've just seen, I do a little bit of a ergometer. I get on bay and do some pace work. For me, 500 meters is a good amount. So I get nice and warm, I do 500 meters, and then I cool down. So today, 29.6 at pace. Generally, that's a bit slower than my pace, but it's the split that I would probably see more often than not during my 2k. I do quite a negative split generally but other people might do more of a flat pace so you need to figure out what's best for you. So step one is getting the pace work in and that, that distance as well can vary from person to person for me 500 meters. And before we go into the other steps I would really appreciate if you aren't subscribed already to hit the subscribe button and also to hit the like button because as you probably already know from watching other YouTube videos, hitting those two buttons together actually does help promote the channel that you are watching. Step two is about fueling, which we're going to get into because I have just finished up a little bit of a workout and remember, food is fuel. So let's get into the Yam Squad kitchen. Just kidding, Yam Squad. Although we are in the ambulance kitchen, we won't be cooking food to fuel up post session today because everything's not quite ready. But we do have fire. The ambulance have fire. So we could, in theory, cook. But we do have a swivel seat. Absolutely fantastic. And something I prepared earlier back in Yam Squad HQ to fuel up after my session because remember food is fuel but before I get to fueling up post that session I just want to discuss sort of fuel preparation prior to a 2k so a lot of people think before a 2k since it's such a difficult test that you really have to the day before the morning of the the week leading up you have to carb load you have to Fill your body with enough fuel that you, when you do get to the test, you can fire on all cylinders and go for it and get the best score you can. Well, that isn't quite the case because a 2K is not long enough for a carb load to really be beneficial. A 2K, you generally only burn a few hundred calories. It's through the day after that, once you've taken such a physical hit your metabolism spikes and burns loads of calories later on but that's a whole nother conversation you don't actually burn that many calories while doing the 2k itself so you don't really need to carb up per se but that's not saying you don't have to fuel up at all and you just don't eat anything and you'll be good to go you have to eat enough so that your stores within your body without going into too much detail your stores within your body have the energy to burn during that test piece. Got some new cushions getting made now. For me, the most important part for the fuel prior to a 2K is keeping it normal. You don't want to, for me at least, go and try and do something out of the ordinary. For example, eating loads more fuel than you normally would or on the other side of the coin eating a lot less food than you normally would and I like to stick to foods that I'm really used to so I've got my lovely tuna and rice here I'll be having just snacks throughout the day that I normally have and fueling up on mostly if there is a little bit of a change keeping it relatively bland so that it just means that okay the body takes the fuel and you're all set rather than having to deal with any sort of rumbly tumbly things if you go out and have a spicy curry or something but on the other flip side slash coin there are stories where the likes of Steve Redgrave Matthew Pinson used to go out prior to a 2k prior to a big test go to the curry house of their choice and have a massive curry so each to their own really but for me like I said 
keeping it relatively bland and making sure I do stick to my normal diet essentially and not trying to do anything fancy. So we have now had a wonderful fueling up day prior to the 2K. Nothing outrageous, nothing fancy, nothing different, but I have a 2K at say one o'clock in the afternoon today. What do I fuel up then? For me, again, it's nothing out of the ordinary and keeping it relatively bland. You don't want to have a stomach that's churning away and it's not quite sitting right during the 2K itself. I usually have quite a sensitive stomach when I'm doing testing and generally I end up, what I do eat comes back up quite regularly during a test piece. Good thing I don't do that many tests. But to limit that opportunity for it to come back up, I re eat relatively bland foods. For example, just some porridge, just some rice again, some, some bland foods. But by keeping it normal, your stomach, your body should be used to what you put into it. And then even if you're used to sort of really non-bland foods, your body's used to it, so it should be able to deal with it okay. For me, I generally like to have a relatively large meal, a normal size meal about two hours before the 2k and then sort of snack a little bit up until about an hour before. Not too much food, maybe a, a couple of bananas, a, some sort of bar, chewy biscuit bar kind of thing, but nothing too much after that. And then up to an hour, I'm just taking fluids in. Really not a lot of fluid, just kind of sips here and there just to wet the appetite of thirst. And then by the time I get to the 2K itself, I'm not feeling hungry, but I'm not feeling full either. I'm feeling, I would say if there was a scale of one to 10 of fullness, I want to be down closer to three or four, not up past five to seven, if that makes sense. But that kind of thing changes and is different for everybody. Some people can roll on a full stomach and have no issues. Some people really like to have absolutely nothing and almost do a fasted test and that works for them. So it's a kind of thing about you have to do what is best for you and the only way to find out what is best for you is to do a little bit of testing while you're doing some testing. But if you are doing that, be prepared for things to go a little bit wrong and understand that, okay, that one may not have worked but next time we try something different and that might work. So now we've spoke about the pace work the day before the 2K. We spoke about fueling the day before the 2K and now for the third step, we're talking about the plan for the 2K itself. So what do I mean by planning of the 2k well your score really depends on the plan that you have and that may seem really obvious but the more you can really have that plan in your head the more likely you are to stick to it when you're in one the pain cave and two not in the pain cave at all because it's so so easy at the start of a 2k to think that the split you're holding is too easy, but the test is 2,000 meters long. It is not 200 meters long because generally in the first 500 of a 2K, you're not really going to be feeling too tired. The legs only will really start to burn around the K mark. So if you go out too fast to start with and don't stick to your plan, then the whole 2K, your potential could all crumble and you won't get the best score out of yourself. So the day before, I like to think, and obviously leading up to the day before as well, but the day before, I really like to think about what my 2K plan is. The planning goes another way as well, not just with the importance of making sure you stick to your plan and drilling in the plan. And it's almost sometimes you can do some visualization the day before just to think, okay, what is it going to feel like going through 500 meters? So I know on the day that's what it's going to be like, both in situations where it might go wrong and situations where it goes right for you. But then also planning the actual 2K day itself. So for example, 
you might have a pre-paddle, a little bit of a warm-up sort of before the warm-up. What time does that start? What time do you need to eat? Like I've been talking about, food is quite important to get that timing right. So for me, I don't want to be too full or too empty. And of course, food is fuel. So I do need enough food in my, or fuel in my system to make sure that I have the right amount of energy for the 2K itself. So what time do I need to fuel up during test or race day? What time do I have to leave the Yam Squad HQ to get to the Scottish Rowing Centre so I'm there, plenty of time, nice and relaxed? Do I have to prep food in the Yam Squad HQ so I can take that and eat that before the 2K? These are all questions you can ask yourself and make sure you have nailed them all down prior to the sort of day or morning of the 2K so that the 2K day or the test day, whether it's a any sort of distance piece or a race itself, maybe it's on the water if you're lucky enough to get on the water, but it just means that the day itself is all about the racing, the testing, rather than all the small things that go around it. So even if it's just small things like packing your bag the night before, making sure you're all packed up, like I said, food-wise, or even just making sure you have your favourite all-in-one clean and ready to give you that maximum chance of getting the best score that you can get. So hopefully that makes sense, Yam Squad. Getting a bit nervous now is something that everyone does, or the majority of people do. And I'll really like, as Pete Reed once said to me, when you get nervous, it just means that you are, that you care about the thing that you're about to do. So uh, that kind of calms me down a little bit. And also just the fact that it's, I'm getting nervous so I can use that energy that's building up in the 2K itself. I know that I'm rested, I know that I've had enough fuel, I know my plan's set up, I know what to do tomorrow, what time I'm getting up, what time I'm leaving for the Scottish Rowing Centre to do the 2K itself, what time the 2K is, what time the warm-up starts, all that stuff. I know all of that, so all I have to think about tomorrow, really, is making sure I stick to my plan and giving my Self, the best shot at getting the best score that I can. So fingers crossed, Yam Squad. Hopefully I can do you all proud. And good luck to any of you that have a 2K coming up. Or even all of these rules, rules, steps, one, two, three, whatever you want to call them, can be applied to any test, any piece, any race day, or basically any anything. Basic planning, fueling, all that is super important to pretty much everything in everyday life. But before I waffle on anymore, really appreciate you if you have watched to this part in the video. If you've not subscribed, let me know in the comments below why not. And maybe you think about hitting that subscribe button if you haven't. And also combined with that, hitting that like button if you haven't hit it already. And I will see you probably in the next video, which will most likely be the 2K video. Wish me luck, Yam Squad. How are you?